Okay, so here's a moment some of you have been waiting for for about five years. TR96. Alright, so I haven't been on this combine in a while. Like, I haven't even looked in it in a while. I can't even get up there. Um, Cody put air in the tires a few weeks back. They needed to be done. I even forget what this thing looks like. Didn't know. Dad's coming to get that bale that's in front of that. What do you call it there? And what do we got here? Somehow, for some strange reason, the nuts are gone. Well, that's not good. I'm going to have to go out to the other building. Uh, TR96, I popped the air cleaner off on this thing and I think the, I put it that funky exhaust on there I'm going to change that uh, but this combine definitely needs to get backed out of here today so that means I got to move the 5020 grain drills got to come out as well not today but I got work that needs to be done with that and this truck's got to get started so I'm gonna start that now and uh, that hasn't been started in a while, but I'm gonna start that now and uh, we'll get on with the, uh, we'll commence with the uh, battery work. Brand new batteries. Brand new batteries.
that's left. When you're going backwards, you make left. Go that way. New Holland okay so first things first problem I got is fuel all right yeah first things first fuel <laughs> so I started this thing up and it fired right off as you could see but right now This is the first line of defense when it comes to the filtration. Now that's the that's where it draws from the uh, from the tank. This is the uh, drain line for the overflow. Um, I've decided that I would put a filter on here instead of the water separator just because this thing has sat for so long and I cannot get it to bring fuel in from up top, which is kind of, to me, a pain in the ass. So if there is a filter in there, or a strainer oh, there she comes that was the problem that was the problem i had a blockage in there i could not get it to come out at all when i say i couldn't get it to come out i mean it wasn't doing anything i had a hell of a vacuum but no oh come on let me put this thing down look at that up there i had a hell of a vacuum but i did not have what i really needed i had vacuum but i had no Nothing coming out. So I'm gonna go up top. I'll let you I'm gonna go up top. Hold on a second here. There's a couple of ways of doing this. Now you could do it the cheater way, which is what I'm gonna do. You know. I'm sure some of you say, you're gonna blow up your tank, but I'm not. I'm not that stupid. I, I don't think I am anyway. <laughs> I mean I could be. If I blow up the tank, then you'll know right away that I am actually that stupid. don't want to put much pressure on it. You just want to put enough to get that damn thing to fill up up here. I've got it off. The filter is loosened. So it's just going to have to get through there. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here. Hopefully you can see what I'm about to do. I don't know. We're getting some pressure on our vacuum. Nope, it's just pumping. So it's pulling. There was a blockage at the bottom of that tank causing this thing to not want to have any fuel. Tighten that back up. It may need that in order to work. Uh oh. I'm feeling stuff. Like I'm feeling fuel coming. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so I sent Tim for new fuel filters. Oh, yeah. 
excellent. Let's go take a look in the bottom of that filter I just put in there. Excellent. All right. Oops. I'm gonna go take a look in the bottom of that filter that I just put in there. These two filters here are gonna be replaced here shortly. Uh, only hooked up one battery because we had the wrong lines or the wrong ends here for some reason. I don't know where in the hell they're at. So I need two long ones. I think I could do it with those. I want to run two batteries because when we get into this night stuff, it's going to be a bit of a necessity to have all the power I can have instead of draining the battery down and being real hard on the alternator. So let's see what this filter looks like. I half expect it to be full of stuff. Well, it's not. It looks good. Okay, good. Good. That filter, I think, is upside down, to be honest with you. It seems to be upside down, but it seems like we got fuel. Now, let's go see if she fires up again. Because it was, it's now blocking my, it's blocking what I want to do. Now we're going to change the engine oil in it. Yeah. I ever wonder, sometimes you get too old to get up in these things. I'm not there yet, but... Whew. Okay. See? Try. It's a try. pop off or not you would think it would you would think that that would have been the hardest start you had when I first started it but it's not I ran it out of fuel because of that filter still had her in gear sounds good I still have a half a tank of fuel uh, this thing has 3100 hours on it 3100 uh, hours not separator hours hours separator hours are different I'm pretty sure there's one of them little suckers around here someplace I just can't remember where it's at at the moment but 3,100 hours on this particular machine. I know I had one. I don't know where it's at, though. Let's say we do fan speed. Yeah, we do have some fan speed. I don't know if the AC is going to work or not. It should. I hope it does, because if it doesn't, I'm going to have to charge that sucker. Make it work. Beautiful, though. I do need coolant level. And I need to figure out why my auger is not showing that it's all the way in. But for the most part, there is some mouse damage in here. This uh, combine, this series of combines, the little bastards, they just, they love this stuff. I don't know what it is about it, but they love the interiors of these New Holland combines. So, we're gonna, yeah. I just want to move this thing out of the way a little bit. What I need to do is move it out of the way. I need to get air in the tires. And in order to do that, I need to get it up there. And I want to put it up there and block the wheels because I don't trust the... Uh, this all has to be cleaned. I'm not dealing with a filthy combine going into this corn. Now, what I'm, my whole goal here right now, uh, as of today, is to actually just, I gotta go bale hay, but I wanna get this thing somewhat ready to go. We're gonna change the engine oil. Uh, Timothy's gone for, like I said, he's gone for those filters. We had to go a little bit farther than we wanted to go. It's about 20 miles away to get the filters, but, I just want to get this thing where it needs 
to be. Including the coolant. Awesome. All right, so that's it. I'm gonna shut her off. Put on my brake so it doesn't run away. And hopefully I'm not on that hose because I didn't pick it up like an idiot. I left it out there. But the rear tires, the rear tires on this thing were low out in the shop, out in the other building. Ooh. <coughs> so I had Cody put air in them. They are a tubeless tire, so it's kind of expected. But I was really kind of worried that they were going to, that these tires were going to just be junk. And they're not junk uh, yet. I do have a cut in one of the tires where all the soybean stubble was getting it. And, uh, oh yeah, this tire's got to be, this thing's got to be replaced. Look at this. This is part of it. I'm going to have to get a pair of these things. What are they, 16926s? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I can't even begin to go into the year with that. They're done. That's done. That's just done. It won't be long. All right, 16926. Let's see what I can come up with. Next problem on the very long list of problems I'm sure I'm going to have. And that is right here. This is the fan belt idler pulley. Got soybean dust stuck in it. You got everything I need? Nope. That was quick. Tiny little things. Yeah. Stupid little things. Anyways, the bearing is out of it. Oof. So I know I was only running with one belt, so I'm gonna have to get that fixed. The other major problem is these tires. Uh, tires, you know, I kind of had a feeling that this was going to happen. I wasn't 100% sure that it was going to happen, but it's it's happened. And I'm not one to replace one tire. I'm going to replace them both, but it's blowing out here. These are brand new. That was from soybean and corn stubble. They just get in there and they work, 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 work their way. So, I don't know. It's going to have to be replaced. It is a good for one year, 16,926. But I think I'm going to put 18,426s on because of uh, the corn header is probably going to be lighter than my four row corn head. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but whatever. I, I just want it to float and I want to have good traction because I did work the ground. This is not no till situation. This is worked ground. And uh, it may or may not get may or may not get really wet this fall. Who knows? But uh, hopefully, I can get into the field pretty quickly and get this sorted out. This year sorted out. So it's got this little freeze out plug, and I hate ruining freeze out plugs. But uh, I'm going to actually get a get a drill and drill a hole in it, and then put some air to it and blow it off of there.